This is a sweater I bought recently. It's an all-over cable sweater. Even the cuffs are made of cables instead of ribbing. It looks like an intermediate piece, but upon closer inspection, the cables are actually very basic. I absolutely fell in love with the details, like the design around the neckline and the shaping at the back. I'm going to try to reverse engineer this sweater. I want to learn some new techniques and broaden my knitting skills, so I thought this would be a great way to test, prove, and accomplish my goals. Here's a list of things I want to customize for my piece. I want more positive ease, shorter sleeves, slightly shorter hem, mainly because I want a piece I can just slip on without having to tuck it in to style it up, and lastly, a shorter turtleneck. So this might be really controversial, but I didn't knit a swatch even though I'm using a slightly thicker yarn than what the reference sweater uses. I'm just going with my intuition and experience. Plus, I want to keep it easy and not overthink things too much. I always just jump into projects and the dimensions have always turned out fine for me, so... All I can really say is to each their own. Let me know in the comments if you are a swatcher or not. The cable pattern looks complicated, but don't be deceived. It was surprisingly easy to write out and I got it correct in one shot. With that being said, I did run into some cast on troubles mainly because I used the regular needle to cast on and it ended up being too tight so it wasn't really easy sliding the stitches forward to knit. I had to recast on using slightly larger needles which helped solve the issue. When casting on a larger number of stitches, use markers to help keep track. I placed markers every 50 stitches. Initially, I was going to try to make my sweater identical to the cream one, 
but the gauge is slightly different. So because of this, I'm making sure the hem for my piece measures at 4 inches, just as the reference does. Next, I begin planning for the main cable pattern. As you can see, these smaller cables merge into one larger cable. Thankfully, this is just a basic cable, so it's going to be easy. In between the larger cables are these smaller ones that I've been knitting from the beginning, so there's going to be no problem there as well. Basically, all I did to write the pattern was I decreased the center purl rows to close the gap and bring all the stitches together. From there, I will start knitting a larger basic cable. I went ahead and tested my pattern, but I realized I should have written it a little better. I should have gradually decreased the purl stitches in 4 rows rather than in 2 rows. Basically what happened was I was gaining knitting momentum and I'm just knitting in the round so it totally slipped my mind to do a plain row in between the decreased rows. I just wanted to mention this because I want to be honest about my process. I started questioning the pattern for the shaping at the back because it wasn't turning as sharply as the reference sweater. It was looking more straight and this got me questioning if I would have the same problem at the front details around the collar. I knew there would be obstacles but for some reason this difficult portion really had me wondering if I could complete this. Even though I unravel all the time, I do worry that the time spent might be wasted if I'm not successful at troubleshooting. I also worry about wasted effort, like what if I can't figure it out? I always find with knitting that it might take many tries to figure out, but eventually you reach a moment of clarity. This usually hits me when I'm tired and about to give up or after I take a break to clear my head. Sometimes I think it's necessary to go through a struggle before you can start seeing the light. I think this is what builds more knowledge and expertise.
day one, I set my goals to learn something new, get better at knitting, and be one step closer to becoming a knitting wizard. I learned how to shape cables around a collar and at the back. I challenged myself to reverse engineer a store-bought sweater. And I was able to analyze a piece, break it down, and re-knit it. So although I can't show you a finished piece, I still was able to accomplish my knitting goals for this project.